Hey church, I'm so glad to be with you today. Um, we have been going through the book of James with the youth, and I've been doing that for my last several videos with you guys as well. And so uh, we recently did James chapter 4, and I tried to take an approach with James chapter 4 just from the very first portion of the chapter to talk to the kids about pride, and that's what I'd like to talk to you about today too. Um, pride is something that we all struggle with at times, even when we don't realize that we do. Um, I had to give the kids several creative ways of uh, as we talked about it, uh, to give them that that showed me that that we deal with pride, even though that some of them think that they're not prideful because they they think of themselves as so low. But um, as we read through James chapter four, I'm going to read just a few verses here and uh, just point out a few things that I think can help us see that sense of pride in ourselves, um, and so that we might be able to fight against that. So in James chapter four, verse two. It says this, You lust and do not have, so you commit murder. You are envious and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask with wrong motives, so that you may spend it on your pleasures. As as I was asking our kids, uh, what, what is this talking about? It seemed like they they kind of were taken that it was about greed and they they want 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 we need we need we need it's me I want mine and I said that we're really good at taking care of ourselves even though sometimes we 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 say we don't but we're good at saying well I need this and we if we're no if we're not careful we can very easily start to neglect those around us our spouses our family our friends the the church people that we deal with every day the people in our lives we can start to neglect them because we're only worried about taking care of ourselves and so um, that's I believe what James is talking about here because he's talking about us being selfish and our motives are are poor. That's what he says. Our motives are poor. We ask for things from God, but we don't get them because our motives are bad motives. Um, and so I, we we talked about this at length, and I just gave them example after example. But can you think of something in your life where you've asked for uh, God? Boy, I'm just really struggling financially. I'd like to have a million dollars so I wouldn't be struggling financially anymore. We've all thought that. But that's probably not the thing that we should be asking for from God. We should probably be asking God to provide a way, the way that he would have us, that would show us the perfect way, you know. And um, we asking with the right motive is the way to do that. And when we have that pride that says, well... I'm envious of these other people over here because they have something that I don't, and they shouldn't have it, and I should. That pride says, I deserve that. I should be getting this. And it's much more concerned about ourselves than we are about others. So I would encourage you this week as you go about your day to just think about, am I doing that in any situation, in any relationship? Am I putting someone else behind myself? Am I am I putting others first? Am I loving them the way that God won't want me to love them, the way that Jesus exemplified that we should love each other? And in fact, Jesus gives us that greatest example, and he says that no man can have love for a friend greater than this, that he would lay down his life for them. So I encourage you to just examine yourself this week. I hope you guys are doing really well, and we hope to see you on Sunday.